Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Welcome to uh, Fusion Mobile class, Geography. Today we are going to look at the introduction to Geography, Divination of Geography, Scope of Geography, Branches of Geography, and Importance of Geography. As a student studying Geography for the first time, at the end of this topic, there is what we call self-assessment. You must assess yourself by asking yourself these questions. Number one, what is the divination of geography? Number two, what is the scope of geography? Number three, what are the branches of geography? Number four, what are the importance of geography? By the time you know this convincingly, you must have been you know, assured that you have known the first topic, which is introduction to geography. So without uh, wasting of time, let's start. Geography is a social science subject and is the, it's a Greek word derived from two acronyms. Number one, we have geo. Geo means F. Then number two, we have graphos. Graphos means description, to describe. So if you merge these two words together, it then means that geography can be defined as the description of the earth. Geography can be de defined as the description of the earth. Having said that, the description of the earth alone is not the divination of geography. It goes beyond that. When we are talking about geography, it goes beyond the description of the earth. It also deals with the activities of people living on the surface of the earth. That is, it deals with human activities, it deals with human interactions, it deals with every aspect of human existence, both living and non-living things. So when we are talking about geography, we are talking about number one, the description of the earth. Number two, we also talk about the description of human activities. Number three, we also talk about the description of both the living and non-living things. So that is what geography is all about. There is an, uh, an argument whether geography is a pure science subject or an art subject or a social science subject. This argument has been going on, but by the time we delved into the detail of the study of geography, as a student you are going to uh, re realize that geography is not an art subject. In fact, geography is purely, if I'm permitted to say, it's a science subject because it goes into different parts of science subjects like mathematics, like chemistry, like physics, like biology, as we are going to look at it. So when we are talking about geography, geography is not an art subject, neither is it a social science, but it's an argument, academic argument anyway. But what we want us to know is that geography is the description of the earth. We are going to look at the scope of geography. When we are talking about the scope of geography, we are talking about the relationship between geography and other subjects. As I said, that geography cannot be isolated as an art subject. It interrelates with other subjects like government. It also interrelates with other subjects like physics, chemistry, biology, economics. So any subject you take apart from geography and you begin to study it, as you go along into detail, you are going to find geography there. So geography is very, very wild, is very, very versatile, but in studying of geography at a higher level, you take an aspect of geography because geography is very wide, it's very versatile. 
So when we are talking about the scope of geography, we are talking about the relationship between geography and other subjects. Geography is related with physics. Geography is related with biology. In fact, there is what we call biogeography. Geography is related with economics. We have economic geography. Geography is related with mathematics. There is aspect of geography that is purely mathematics. Geography is related with, you know, uh, chemistry. When we begin to look at the chemical component of the rocks, it's part of the chemistry aspect of uh, geography. Geography is also related with government. When you talk about the political division of a nation like Nigeria, that is regional aspect of geography, you are discussing government and so on and so forth. So when we are talking about the scope of geography, we are talking about the relationship between geography and other subjects. Now, let's look at branches of geography. We have taken the definition of geography. We have looked at the scope of geography. Now, let's look at the branches of geography. Geography, broadly speaking, is divided into two. We have the human geography and we have the physical geography. All other branches fall under these two broad categories or broad divisions or broad br uh, uh, branches. That is the human and uh, the physical geography. Apart from these broad branches of geography, we have um, uh, regional geography is under human. Because when you take, for instance, a section of a country or a section of a continent like West Africa as a region, and you are dealing with the, uh, that region, what you are, you are doing in geography is what we call regional geography. Bringing that to Nigeria, for instance, we have the six geopolitical regions in Nigeria. When you take the south-south, south-west, north, northeast, northwest, or north central as a region, and you are studying the setting, the geography of that area, what you are dealing with is what we call the regional geography. Apart from the uh, regional geography, there is what we call, you know, geographic information system it's a new trend in geography it has been introduced into the syllabus of geography recently the reason is because they want to bring life that geography is not an armchair subject where a student will sit in the class and uh, maybe listen to the teacher as i'm talking now at the end of the day you go out you cannot practicalize but the introduction of geographic information system into the, this subject of geography has given more life to what we call uh, uh, to, to, the, to the subject uh, geography. And, you know, as we go into it, we are going to see that before you understand the aspect of geographic information system very well, you must be computer literate. And computer as, as a subject is not an art subject, it's a science. So, because of that, the aspect of geographical, geographic information system has given a boost to geography as a science subject in the school. There is also, we, there is another branch of geography we call the uh, cartographic aspect of geography. That is the aspect of map making. It's a, di a different discipline entirely. There is what we call biogeography. There is what we call geomorphology. Geomorphology also is an aspect of geography when we are talking about branches but all these cumulatively we divide geography into two we have the physical and we have the human uh, geography as we go the two branches of geography human and physical geography have explained that under it we have other branches that come under so when you go to when you want to study geography especially in university um at the end of the day, there is an aspect of geography that you are going to measure. You can either measure the physical geography or the human geography. Even under physical geography, there are other aspects again. Then, like uh, when we talk about physical geography, we talk about biogeography, we talk about geomorphology, all these are the branches of physical geography. Then when you come to uh, human geography, we talk about population planning, we talk about urban and regional planning, all these things are the odd, uh, branches of human geography. So geography, as we said from the scope, is very versatile, is very broad, broad and is very wide.
Now, these are the branches of geography. Now, number uh, four is the importance of geography. Why do we study? You know, remember, I told us that uh, at the end of this topic, introduction to geography, number one, you must know the divination of geography. Number two, you must know the scope of geography. Number three, you must know the branches of geography. Then, finally, number four, you must know the importance of geography. In fact, if you don't know the importance of anything, you may not be, you know, be keen to study it. Now, let's look at briefly the importance of geography. Number one, as we say, look at the divination. From the divination, we say that geography is the description of the earth. So, when you study geography, number one importance is that it will give you a first-hand knowledge about your environment. And what do you mean by, by environment? Environment is our surrounding, things that surround us. Since geography is the study of the earth, so one of the importance is that it gives you a first-hand information about what? About your environment. That is one of the key importance of, uh, uh, of, of, of geography. Then number two, it makes you to study other people's way of life. You know, there is what we call a geospatial interaction in geography. That is at higher level. Whenever you are, you, are, you are so socialized that you can get interested in studying people's life, their ways of life, their ways of dressing, the way they eat, the way they conduct themselves. So because you are studying geography, so it gives you upper hands to know people from Brazil, from other continents, from, uh, from other parts of the world, even other parts of uh, uh, Nigeria. It will give you a kind of a first, uh, first class information about their way of life. That is number, number two. Number three, studying geography, as I said, can also make you to choose a career that at the end of the day, it will better your life. You know, some people believe that uh, geography, if you study it, you, uh, you, you just end up being a, a teacher, you just end up being this. But it is not true. It is not true. The best planner in the world is a geographer. In fact, without geography, if, in fact, if you want to go as a to study pilot, you must have a knowledge. In fact, you must have a credit pass in geography. You must have a credit pass in geography. In military operation, they cannot go out for any military operation without studying the environment of that area. And how do they study it? They bring out those that study geography, that know the map of that area, to know the cartography of that area, to know the, you know, the topography of that area, so that they can study it very well before they go out for any operation. So when we are talking about geography, number one, it makes you, it makes you as a student or as a geographer, either you take it as a profession, number one, it makes you to know your environment. That is number one. You'll be so conversant with your environment. In fact, in the world today, the world is talking about climate change. Climate change. Climate change. Why? It's because of our attitude towards the environment. Your attitude, my attitude, the way we indiscriminately dispose our refuse. So when you study geography, you'll be aware of all this, and this will now give you a kind of consciousness how to protect and guide your environment. And once you guide your environment and protect, once your environment is healthy, it also affects the, the quality of life of the community. So it's only geography that can give you that uh, information about your environment. And number two, it will make you to socialize, to know and study other people's way of life. And finally, number three, it also makes you to choose a career. To choose a career. There are career, very lucrative career in, you know, in Nigeria today that without the knowledge of geography, you cannot even be given that course at higher institution. Let me cite an example. I've given us example of if you want to become a pilot, you must you must, it's a must, you must have a credit pass in geography. If you want to become, there is an aspect of civil engineer, engineering that geography is, uh, is um, um, in, in, the, the knowledge of geography is there. When you want to know about, to study hydrology, that is the 
this, the storage of water underground, it is all about geography. And when we talk about climatology, the study of the climate is all about geography. So with this, we have uh, come to the end of the first topic, that is introduction to geography. We have known the divination, we have known the scope, we have known the branches, and we have known the importance of geography. So with this, we have come to the end of the first uh, topic, introduction to geography. Then I've, I've told us at the beginning that at, at the end of each topic, students must assess themselves on that topic. And on this topic, there are questions that will come so that you answer it without looking at your textbook, without looking at any other external materials with what I've explained. You are going to answer these questions. And this one will serve as a self-assessment whether you really understand the first topic, that is introduction to geography, before we move to the next topic.